We're going to prove that the composition of continuous functions is continuous using the sequential definition of continuity. As a quick preface, we previously proved that the square root function is continuous, we proved that every linear function is continuous, and we proved that the sum of continuous functions is continuous. So by all of those results, we could conclude that these first three functions are continuous. But none of them apply to this fourth function, where we take the line 3x x plus 1 and plug it in to the square root function. It will be of great use to prove that this type of composition is continuous as long as the component functions are continuous. When we introduced the definition of continuity, we did so with these four characterizations to say that a function f is continuous at c is the same as saying any of these things. Like I said earlier, we're going to use the sequential definition that says a function f is continuous at c if for all sequences converging to c in the domain of f, the sequence of images converges to the image of c. Link in the description to the lesson where we talk more about this particular definition. It's a very easy proof, so let's not delay. What we have is a function g from a domain a to a codomain b. We're assuming that g is continuous at this point c in its domain, and of course g of c is some point in the codomain. We're assuming also that f, a function from b, the codomain of g, to the real numbers, is continuous at that point g of c. And we want to prove that f of g is continuous at the point c. f of g, the composite function, of course, goes from a, the domain of g, to the real numbers, the domain of f. Since we're using the sequential definition of continuity, we begin the proof by taking an arbitrary sequence in the domain that converges to this point C. And we want to prove that the sequence of images, f of g of the sequence, converges to the image of this point C, f of g of C. We already know that g is continuous at c, so by the sequential definition of continuity, the sequence of images under g must converge to g of c, right? Because a n converges to c, g is continuous at c, so that sequence of images g of a n must converge to g of c. It's also the case that g of a n is a sequence entirely contained in b, because that's the codomain of g. So again, we have a sequence, g of a n, entirely in the domain of f that converges to g of c, a point that is also in the domain of f. So we can apply the sequential definition of continuity to f. Since f is continuous at g of c, and we have this sequence in the domain of f that converges to g of c, the sequence of the images under f f of g of a n must converge to the image of g of c, f of g of c. And that, by definition, is the composite function f of g evaluated at c, as we desired. And that completes this very straightforward proof. Let me walk you through it one more time. We took an arbitrary sequence in the domain that converges to c. By the continuity of g, the sequence of images under g has to converge to g of c. But this sequence and its limit are both in the domain of f and f was taken to be continuous at g of c. So by definition of continuity, again, the sequence of images under f, f of g of a n, must converge to the image of that sequence limit, f of g of c. And so the limit of any sequence, f of g of a n, as long as a n converges to this point c, must converge to f of g of c. So by definition, the function f of g is continuous at c. So indeed, we can say that this composite function is continuous wherever it is defined because it is the composition of continuous functions. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my real analysis course and real analysis exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.